Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Brad Walchek with you here at Premier. First off, I just want to say thank you for joining us today. I know it's a, a busy time for you all, especially with AEP right around the corner. Yeah, once again, we appreciate you uh, take, giving us your time this afternoon. Today, I have Liz and her team to go over uh, another great product from GTL called Home Care Secure. This product has one of the lowest issue ages uh, out of our out of our lineup, along with minimal underwriting. I don't want to take too much from her presentation, so um, Liz, go ahead and take it away. Great, thanks so much. Well, everyone, good afternoon. As Brad had mentioned, my name is Liz Christopher. I'm joined today by my colleagues Nick Polish and Tierney Beauregard. And we're really excited to be with you to introduce an innovative solution that combines insurance with advocacy and navigation resources. Now, we usually like to kick this off by teasing that you don't always associate insurance with innovation. But after today's call, we hope you come away with just that, a different way to think about insurance and a robust offering to enable your clients to realize their dream of aging at home as safely, as independently, and as long as possible. Now, before we get into the product details, did wanna give a little bit of background and context on why we designed this solution offering. So all of our employees have either been a caregiver or have had to search for caregiver services for a family member or a loved one, as I'm sure many of you and many of your clients have had to do as well. We know the majority of people want to age at home now more so than ever, yet the emotional and the financial burdens can be overwhelming, not just to the individual, but to their families as well. And I think we can all attest to the fact that the healthcare system is disjointed and fragmented, but particularly so within the short-term and long-term care spaces. And if you couple this with the misunderstandings and misperceptions of what Medicare will cover, it's no wonder that there's a problem. In fact, the average person will consume roughly $50,000 in unreimbursed custodial healthcare expenditures in their lifetime. And most of that is not budgeted or planned for. It's a massive blind spot for so many and one which results not only in having to make difficult decisions for where a loved one ages, but also to the quality, to the access, and to the type of care that they may receive. And on a very somber note, these expenditures are the primary reason that individuals file for bankruptcy late in life. And so that's what brings us today to our feature presentation of Home Care Secure, which is our integrative solution combining insurance with advocacy and navigation supports to provide your clients with the tools, the resources, and the financial security to age at home. Now, at a very high level, the indemnity insurance product has available lifetime maximums ranging from $20,000 to $60,000 in $10,000 increments. The benefits designed to pay over 50 weeks, thus leading to weekly payments in the range of about $400 to $1,200. And based upon the indemnity nature of the product, this money is paid directly to your client. Now, if we move over to the right-hand side, you'll see the Aging at Home Association listed there. And this association, it provides a robust set of tools, resources, and discounts that we've kind of divided into three main areas. So discounts and special values for frequently used goods and services, such as unlimited telehealth and discounts on durable medical equipment. We also offer care coordination services, ranging from free online self-service tools up to discounted and personalized care coordination that's provided by, a, by an individual who's trained in elder care. And then finally, we also offer an annual well-being assessment. And this was developed in partnership with Fidelity Investments and the Stanford Center on Longevity. And this enables the individual to take a holistic look at themselves in the areas of life, health, and money. 
So all of these elements work together to educate your clients on the emotional, the social, the financial, and the operational components to be able to age at home. And with that, I'll turn it over to Nick to highlight some of the plan features. Great, thanks Liz and uh, hello everyone. So I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes on this slide addressing three fundamental questions. Who's eligible for coverage? What are the key product features? And then how do I qualify for the cash payments? So let's work our way uh, left to right. So first from an eligibility requirement perspective, there are three, three points. First, uh, your client must be entry age 35 through 84, be a resident of one of the 22 states where home care secure is currently available. And we'll take a look at those states in a moment. And then finally, be able to pass the five question simplified underwriting process. And passing is the ability to answer no to each of the health eligibility questions. And please note there is no behind the scenes RX or MIB check, nor is there a bill chart. And based on results to date, 90% or more of your clients will pass. And as well, we'll take a look at the underwriting questions in a few minutes. From a key product feature perspective, you know, similar to other products in this category, Home Care Secure utilizes entry age pricing and is guaranteed renewable. So rate is based on the applicant's age and policy issue, and premiums are fixed for the life of the policy unless there's a class rate change. You know, as Liz mentioned previously, uh, plan maximums range from $20,000 to $60,000 in $10,000 increments. Now, in order to allow for the policy to keep pace with wage inflation, there are two mutually exclusive options. So there's the inflation protection rider and the $10,000 buy-up. So I'll address each individually. So first, the inflation protection rider. So that's a decision that your client would make a policy issue to, to add. The interest rate is 3% simple, and it begins to occur in the seventh policy year. And there's no limit to the increase in the, in the lifetime maximum while the policy is enforced. So for example, if your client purchased a $50,000 home care secure policy, after 30 years, that maximum will have grown to $86,000. Now the alternative is the $10,000 buyout. And the buyout is available every three years or more. However, it is subject to a lifetime maximum benefit of $60,000. So to continue with my example above on the inflation rider, a client with a $50,000 lifetime maximum benefit would only be able to buy up one time because it'll be at the $60,000 cap. And then obviously someone who buys a $60,000 lifetime maximum benefit would not be able to buy up at all. And then the last two points with respect to the buy up is that the, the $10,000 itself, the buy up itself is subject to the same five health eligibility questions and the prospective rates will be based on the, uh, the, uh, the insured's age at the time of the buy up and then the new lifetime maximum benefit. Now the, um, the lifetime benefit grades over a five-year period. So it starts in 10% year one, 20% year two, and then beginning in the sixth and subsequent policy years, it's hundred percent. And the rationale for behind offering uh, this feature was, you know, twofold, really to allow for, you know, very simplified underwriting. And again, when we see the questions, you'll see what a low bar has been set and, and obviously more, more competitive rates. And, and then, at, you know, as a practical matter, you know, Clients are purchasing a policies of this sort, you know, years before they expect to, to need, uh, you know, home care support services, uh, you know, five, 15, maybe more years in the future. And obviously in these situations, the grading schedule is effectively not applicable. Now, the last uh, feature is the multi-episode of care. And, and the headline here is that home care secure can be used episodically over a period of time for acute health conditions. You know, and one episode of care ends when an individual recovers and does not need home health care services for a minimum of just 30 days. And later in the presentation, I'll run through an example of how it operates in practice. Now, uh, turning to the last column, um, claim qualification requirements. So there's three, everything's in th threes. Uh, a licensed health care provider, which uh, can be a physician, registered nurse or licensed social worker. So one of those health professionals must certify that your client suffers from a physical or cognitive impairment. Much like long-term disability uh, policies, a physical impairment is defined as the inability to perform two or more of the activities of daily living, such as bathing, dressing, eating. A cognitive impairment, for example, could be a diagnosis of dementia or someone who suffers a traumatic brain injury. So that's criteria one. The second criteria is because of their condition, their impairment, they must need home health care services at least three times a week 
and each visit must be at least one hour in duration. And then, and then third and finally, all of this is documented in a plan of care. Now, as Liz mentioned, because of the nature of the indemnity benefit, weekly cash payments are made directly to your clients and they can use the money in any manner that, that they deem appropriate. So let's take a look at state availability. So the 22 states in green are where home care secure is available today. And then the states in gray with their abbreviations are those that are targeted for introduction throughout 2024. And then the others would be you know, 2025 and, and beyond. So let's take a quick peek at the underwriting. So uh, these are the questions uh, as, uh, you know, from the application. And, and I'll leave you with a couple of thoughts. You know, the, the process is simple, yields real-time underwriting decisions at the point of application, straight through processing. Note that the look back period is only 12 months and the health questions are very narrowly uh, scoped. And as I mentioned earlier, based on our experiences, 90% or more of your clients will be able to you know, effectively answer no to each of these uh, questions. So with that, let me turn it back over to Liz to talk a little bit about the benefits, features, and discounts of the Aging at Home Association. Great, thanks, Nick. So now that we've reviewed the insurance component of the offering, would like to take a few minutes to focus on some of our support services. So as we highlighted previously, we were very purposeful in the design of both the product as well as the association. Since we've been in this position ourselves, either being a caregiver or having to search for caregiver services, we know how overwhelming the process can be. And in addition, with our experience in the insurance industry, We've seen far too often that people don't learn about their insurance, right? They don't understand their benefits and their levels of coverage, and they don't start to look into it until they're sick and at their most vulnerable. Thus, they're not usually equipped to make the best decisions. So we wanted to bring together the tools, the resources, and the navigational supports to help individuals and their caregivers in advance of their time of need so they have increased peace of mind. And as part of this peace of mind, we wanted to ensure that our association provides valuable benefits and discounts that align with our mission to enable individuals to age at home. And the beauty about these benefits and discounts is that they're available not only to the policyholder, but to their immediate family members as well. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of what we mean, we do offer free unlimited telehealth visits through our partnership with Wealthia. Through our partnership with Wealthy, individuals have access to free online self-service tools, as well as discounts to care coordination services that are provided by a trained advocate. These range in services from vetting caregivers to coordinating transportation, and they'll even help you with reconciling medical bills. And then we also offer other discounts and services, such as discounts on durable medical equipment, as well as will and estate planning services. So individuals can get some of those very important documentations, think like wills, advanced directives, and advanced care plans. They can get those in place in advance of their time of need. So all of these elements work together to educate your clients on the emotional, the social, the financial, and the operational costs to be able to age confidently. And so you're probably thinking, okay, with the insurance and with the support services, how do they all work together? Well, we'd like to introduce you to Retiring Ray, who is a persona that we created to bring all of those elements together and make them real for you. So Ray purchased the $50,000 policy with the inflation rider when he was 65 at a monthly premium of $109.57. Now I'm gonna pause there for a moment because we were very particular about selecting this level of coverage for the example. Because if you recall earlier, I had mentioned that the average unreimbursed out-of-pocket costs are roughly $50,000. And that's an expense that two thirds of us will encounter in our lifetime. Unfortunately, at the age of 80, Ray requires in-home custodial care and he has to go on claim. 
Now, by this point, you can see Ray has made monthly payments in the amount of about $19,700. Yet if you look, he has an available maximum benefit of $63,500, $63, which reflects the original $50,000 policy plus the inflation rider, translating into payments of $1,270 a week for 50 weeks. And since Ray has been a client for 15 years, he's been taking his annual well-being assessment. He's been leveraging his available tools and resources. He's put up aging plan in place, but most importantly, he's communicated that plan with his family and loved ones. So they're aware of his wishes and his desires. And now Ray and his family know what to expect from a benefit perspective. They have an aging plan in place, and now they're just executing on that plan with increased peace of mind. And with that, I'll turn it over to Nick to close us out. Great, so this is the, the who and what slide. So who's buying home care secure? So typical buyers, a few slightly female, 54 to 46%. You know, the age range of policyholders to date is literally uh, our minimum and maximum entry age. Uh, we have many policyholders that are age 35 and, and those that are uh, age 85 and the average is 62. And from a distribution perspective, looking at the pie chart to the left, you know, the biggest uh, category are the 50 to 69 year olds where 71% of our policyholders fall, 17% are seven, age 70 and older, and 12% are between the ages of 35 and 49. Now, in terms of what they're buying, 70% of sales are either at the 50,000 or $60,000 levels and 75% of policyholders are purchasing the inflation protection option, which aligns with the fact that most of the policies are at that 50 or $60,000 level where the $10,000 buy-up is of, of limited or, or no value. I thought I would spend just a couple of minutes um, spending a little time um, highlighting the five dimensions where Home Care Secure stands out from the competition. These are in, in no particular order. So the first one, gender-specific rating. And here's an, a, a potential opportunity for pricing arbitrage. So Home Care Secure uses gender specific rates. So we have a, a separate set of male and female rates, while most other short-term products use uh, unisex rates. And because women have longer life expectancies, unlike life insurance, short-term rates are higher for women than they are for men. So unisex rates reflect the blending of higher female rates with lower male rates. So you might find that for your male clients, home care secure rates will be uh, more attractive than products that use uh, unisex rates. You know, second uh, point, eligibility ages down to uh, 35, uh, which represents a broader addressable market for you. You know, many short-term products, the initial entry age begins at age 50, and it, uh, home care secure opens up that addressable market for clients ages 35 to 39. And as we saw, I'm sorry, to 49. And as we saw from the earlier enrollment slide, you know, 12% of our home care secure sales are in that 35 to 49 year old category. So this effectively gives you the opportunity to increase your short term sales, you know, 10 to 15%. You know, the third point is the, uh, the inflation protection options. And here I see a stacking opportunity to protect your clients from inflation induced benefit erosion. So as I mentioned earlier, Home Care Secure has a simple 3% inflation protection rider or the 10% or the $10,000 buyup. And we always recommend uh, the inflation rider over the buyup. But most short term products have an inflation option for the facility benefit, but not for the optional home health care rider. So the idea, the stacking idea, is to use a facility benefit from insurance company A, their inflation protection op option to protect the facility and then purchase home care secure for the home side or the home health care coverage and, and pair it with the 3% inflation protection rider. And then with this approach, your client has total, uh, has facility and home health care protection and both are inflation protected uh, against the ravages of, of inflation. Uh, the fourth point is the Aging Home Association and the available discounts, planning uh, services and navigation uh, support. And, and Liz went over these in detail, so uh, I just want to reinforce a couple of them that I think are, are really important. You know, one, and, and again, they're available to not only the insured, but also to their uh, their family. 
you know, the free and limited telehealth visits, and then the care planning and advocacy services through Wealthy. You know, the fifth is, relates to the remaining lifetime maximum benefit provision, and that's the episodic provision that I was referring to earlier. You know, most short-term plans use the benefit period approach, and, and some also offer a restoration of benefits if the insured goes treatment-free for 180 days or six months. You know, Home Care Secure is, is predicated on a 50-week benefit, and it uses the, this remaining lifetime maximum benefit provision, which we believe is a better, more consumer-friendly uh, approach for your clients. And what I'd like to do is take you through a quick example of, of how it works in practice and let you draw your, you know, your own conclusions. Um, so if we can flip to the next slide. So, um, so first off, the, the way the benefit is determined, it's very three very simple rules. You know, first is you determine the available lifetime maximum benefit, not considering any previously paid claims. Secondly, you divide that figure by 50, which is, you know, again, intended to pay out over a 50 week period to determine the weekly benefit. And then you pay that amount up to the policy lifetime maximum benefit. So I'm gonna run through an example of a client who purchased a $50,000 lifetime maximum benefit and incurred three claims over a, a six year period. So claim one, year one. So what benefit do they have available to them? Well, they have a $50,000 benefit, but because of the grading feature, they only have access to 10% of that in policy year one. So they have access to $5,000, paid over a 50 week period is $100 a week. For purposes of this example, this claim went on for 25 weeks, the policy paid $2,500 to, to your client. Okay, they recovered. Two years later, they slip on a banana peel and they have another claim. All right, what are they entitled to? Well, in year three, uh, the policy is 40% graded. So they have access to $20,000. And notice I'm not reducing the 20,000 by the $2,500 that was previously paid. So the $20,000 divided by 50 is $400 a week. This particular claim went on for 30 weeks. They were paid $12,000. And on a cumulative basis, they received 14,500. They recovered. Uh, and, and recovery is 30 days going treatment free. You know, three years later, they have another claim. Okay, what are they entitled to? Well, now in year six, the benefit is fully graded. They have access to $50,000. Over a 50 week period, that's $1,000 a week. This claim um, went on for 40 weeks. And in practice, what would happen is for the first 35 weeks, the insured would receive $1,000 per week uh, claim. And then in the 36th week, they would get $500 and then they would cease simply because the aggregate sum of all the benefits that were paid uh, previously, you know, hit the $50,000 uh, lifetime maximum benefit. So I hope that that helps um, helps you understand the, the lifetime maximum benefit uh, provision and how it can be used episodically uh, over time for your clients and, and how it might represent a better, uh, a better solution than uh, products that use the, the benefit period approach. So uh, just just two, two more quick slides, for, and we're almost there. We're at the end zone. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the opportunity, and and so why should you introduce your clients to Home Care Secure? Well, there's opportunities for your clients and for each of you. You know, each of you are trusted business advisors to your clients, and here's an opportunity to reinforce that position by educating them on a potential gap on their financial plan and introducing them to a solution to protect their future and provide uh, them with peace of mind. You know, we realize your time is your most precious resource, thus we design Home Care Secure to be easy for your clients to understand. They just need to make two decisions. What lifetime maximum benefit? Do I want the inflation protection rider? Secondly, it's affordable. Experience high acceptance rates, 90% or more, and save time with an efficient enrollment process, which literally takes 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Um, if we flip to the next slide, just from resources and support, you know, we're all focused on your success. And we've developed a number of consumer approved marketing materials, such as an explainer video, uh, you know, product brochure, customizable postcard and infographic and other assets to assist your marketing efforts. As well, we're fully leveraging uh, Guaranteed Trust Life technology platform, including their online quoting and enrollment tool eApp, as well as their portal uh, GT Link. So in terms of what's next, you know, if you're contracted with Premier and appointed with GTL, Congratulations, you're ready to start selling uh, Home Care Secure. However, if you're not appointed with GTL or contracted with Premier, please contact Brad or Katie. Their information, contact information is on the screen, and they and their team will get you contracted and in the market uh, as soon as possible.
So that concludes our, our prepared remarks. And we, we thank you for your time and attendance. And I'll, I'll ask Brad if there's any, any questions that uh, he would like us to uh, address for, for all of you. Oh, uh, great job, guys. I mean, that was, uh, that was yeah, definitely informative. Um, Nick, I really loved that kind of the ending where you kind of kind of hit on the, the niche of it, uh, the niche of the market, I guess. Um, so I guess one question though, there was, so when making claims, um, they can kind of turn to that support service to kind of help them out even, even prior to say, you know, even as they say their parents are getting, getting ill so they can kind of go to that support service and, uh, and look for the help they need and then even help them throughout the claim process. Is that correct? Or yeah, it is. And, you know, I, I personally use them um, in my, I had a, you know, an elderly mom who uh, was beginning to show signs of dementia. And, you know, in advance of, of, of it being a, like getting to the point of it being a problem, you know, I worked with them to develop you know, to an understanding of what were the options available. Um, you know, what are the resources that were available in her community to help her stay at home as long as possible. And then once that was no longer viable, you know, we, you know, identifying uh, communities, uh, you know, senior communities in in the uh, in the area that that could help, uh, you know, support her and and someplace where she can you know transition to uh, to live. So you, you don't necessarily need them at your time of need. Um, it's a, I mean, we we like, and I'm sure they they would tell you the same thing. It's it's better to to plan ahead and create a plan. So you're everybody knows what the plan is, and then when the you know when the time comes, you're you're executing against the plan. Uh, that's obviously the preferred way to go. But you know, if you're in a you know, if you're a family in a crisis, they're they're equipped to help uh, in, in that situation as well. No. Perfect. I mean, I think that's that's great because I know a lot of my agents they kind of they get worried selling this that the, the, the clients aren't going to have the opportunity to home health care or some of those you know, or they don't know where to turn to and they don't know how to help them out in that respect. So that's a that's a great service. And, uh, once again, hey, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Katie or myself. Thank you, everyone. Great. Thanks, Brad. Take care.